to make the play along videos, I open up my Muse score and I have my piece here that I want to record. So I'm going to record my screen while it plays on Muse score. So I'm going to go to the search function on the right hand side and type in QuickTime and open up QuickTime Player. And I'm going to go to File, New Screen Recording. And I'm going to click Record. Now it says click to record the full screen or drag to record part of the screen. So I'm going to hold down my mice, mouse and drag it, the bit I want to record. And I can maneuver it here now the way I want. So I think I'm happy with that. And I'm going to click start recording. To insert the Muse score video I made, I'm going to go to um, Insert and Movie, and I'm going. I saved it on my desktop, so I'm going to go to Desktop and I'm going to scroll down to find the video I'll pick, and I'll just go with this video here that I have and choose. And I wanted to play when clicked, not automatically. So I'll just play, I'll click when clicked. If you want to replace music on your video, you can do it using iMovie if you're an Apple user. And Marie will do it for Windows in a few minutes to show you how to do it. So I'm going into my search function here and searching for iMovie. I found iMovie, so I'm opening it up now and I need to import the video that I want to use. So I'll go to File and Import and I know where I saved it. So I'm going to find it now and it's called Bicycle Lane. Now that I've imported the track, it might take a few minutes for it to import there. Okay, it's importing. And yeah, I have my video there now. To work on this video now, we need to bring it into our project. So press Command A to highlight all of it and make it yellow. You have that outline around it and drag it in while holding your mouse down and you'll see it, it goes green and it drops in. Now the volume on it, we still have the music from MuseScore and I want to get rid of that music. So you see there's a line across that blue, that's your audio, the blue space there. And when you hover over the audio, you have a black cross. And if you drag that down to zero, you now have a silent movie, your volume is at zero. To add in new music, I have a music saved already on my desktop and I actually just held it down and dragged it in. So holding my left hand side of my mouse and dragged it in. You can see it went green. So now we have a new track added in. So the only thing you have to make sure now is that they line up. So you might need to move your audio track to the right or left to make sure it lines up. And you have your new piece of music with your video. Now this audio I recorded on GarageBand that I added to it, but you could use a recording from YouTube once it's the same BPM or you could slow down the YouTube track, or you could use a track from a CD, anything like that that you want to add to it.